artist Charlie here from Star Universe and I have a great drawing for you today is of a scorpion ooh creepy crawly so let's go ahead and grab our pencil paper and coloring materials whether you have markers crayons color pencils or pastels any of those will work I'm going to teach you guys how to draw this scorpion and afterwards I'm going to teach you how to color it in. I'm going to be using markers for my example so if you have markers fantastic but if you don't it's all right. So let's go ahead and gather our art materials and have some fun and learn how to draw a scorpion. <laughs> Alright everyone, let's do our drawing of a scorpion. I have in front of me my paper. I have it going horizontally, going side to side. I have my pencil for drawing and I have coloring materials. I'll be coloring in with markers. However, if you don't have markers, that's alright. You can use color pencils or crayons or whatever you have at home. And you could even just keep it as a pencil drawing. If you don't want to color it in, just keep it as a pencil sketch. Alright, so I'm going to begin my drawing of a scorpion by starting with the body. I'm going to put the body near the center of my paper. After I have the body, I'm going to go ahead and bring out the pincers. Those are those claws, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and bring out its tail up here and have its stinger. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin with that body shape. Okay, to begin that body shape, I'm going to go ahead and start over here. And I'm going to create a line just like that. Okay, just starting simply with a line. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring down a line kind of at a diagonal slant, just like that. Okay, and then on the other side, same thing, just a diagonal slant going down just like this fantastic good job everyone now once you have that i'm going to go ahead and bring kind of a slight curved shape um, at the bottom it's almost like a very slowly curving shallow curved shape just like that so that's the shape that i'm starting with for my scorpion's body so just a line going across then a diagonal line diagonal line and then a shallow curved line a slightly curved line just like that good job everyone way to go now over in the front this is the front of my uh scorpion i'm gonna go ahead and bring out its arms for those claws for those pincers okay so i'm gonna have one coming in this area here so i'm gonna draw a thin rectangle shape going in that area and the other pincer is going to be over here in this area I'm going to go ahead and draw in another thin rectangle just like that so those areas are going to mark where I want my pincers to start to come out okay and then I'm going to go ahead and bring in another thin rectangle just like that okay and the same thing happens on this side just like that Alright, so now my scorpion's arms are getting longer, okay? Then I'm going to go ahead and put in those nice pincers, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and start to put in that curve shape, and then it's going to become pointy, like that, okay? Check that out. Okay, so I did a curved line to a sharp point. Okay, and then on this side, I'm going to do a similar thing where I'll do a curve line and then a point. And that point goes right in just like that. Check that out. All right, now let's go ahead and try that on the other side. Okay, I have a curve line, then it goes to a sharp point and it goes in just like that and then we do a similar thing back here curve line 
and it goes out to a sharp point. And it goes in just like that. Way to go! Our scorpion now has pincers. Fantastic! Okay, now let's look towards up here where the tail is going to be. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create a section where the body transitions into the tail. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in a little area right here where the tail is going to begin. So this area becomes a little more narrow, becomes a little more thinner, doesn't it? Okay, so I just bring a line that slightly slopes in and curves in, right? So it creates a more narrow shape. From there, I'm going to start to create these circular oval-like shapes for the tail. And a scorpion has five of those. Five. So it's kind of like we're drawing a chain. Okay, so it's like those nice oval shapes are looped together and connected the way that a chain is. So I'm going to start with the first one. So number one, just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in the second one. All right, number two. See that? See how they overlap the way that a chain does? Okay, so we got one, two. Now we have number three. Okay, and see how I'm starting to bend and curve that tail so that it's going to curve around. Okay, so one, two, three. Two more to go. Four. All right, and last one, five. See that? And it created that nice curling shape. Okay, so go ahead and try that. Remember, we start here, go one, two, three, four, five. That curling shape. All right, good job. Now we have our scorpion's tail in. And now let's go ahead and put in the stinger. When we do the stinger, there is a slightly rounded area, uh, which is the venom bulb. Okay, and that's where the venom is stored. So we do actually the venom bulb first. So that's kind of round. And then we put in that sharp pointy stinger that comes out like that. So we did that round venom bulb, then the stinger, sharp point, and then the bottom of the venom bulb that rounds and connects back to the tail. Just like that. Way to go! We have our scorpion's tail done. Fantastic! Now we're going to do the scorpion's legs. A scorpion has eight legs, four on each side. So we're going to have four over here and four over there. Let's mark where those legs are going to be. So I have one, two, three, and four. So I'm going to have four legs over here. One, two, three, four. And the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, and four. All right. A total eight legs. Now let's make those legs long. Let's finish them off. So we're going to go ahead and create long, thin legs, just like that. See that? All right, let's go ahead and do that for all eight of the legs. We're going to create thin, long legs, just like that. Good job, everyone. Keep it up. Way to go. All right, our scorpion is starting to come together. All right, we have those legs in. Mm-hmm. Looking good. All right, so we have one side done. One, two, three, four. Those legs are done. Now let's do the other side. Just the same steps that we did here, right? So just do those nice thin legs. Just like that. Good job. Cool beans. Okay. Scorpion now has eight legs. Good job. Okay, 
Now, up front, we could even add in what are called the mouth parts. Okay, if you want to add that in, you could do that. Okay, fantastic. And if you want to add in extra lines in the body, you can do that too. So I could go ahead and put in extra lines that go across the body like this. So if you like the way that looks, go ahead and do that to your scorpion. Okay, so I could put lines like that there. And over here, for this area where the body transitioned into the tail, I could put in lines like that. Okay, fantastic. So we have our drawing done. And now let's go ahead and do the coloring. So I'm going to color in by using markers. So if you have markers at home, fantastic. But if you don't, that's totally fine. You could grab whatever art materials you have to color in your drawing. And if you don't have any coloring materials, that's okay too because it looks so good just as a pencil drawing. You could just leave it just like that. Now when it comes to coloring in our scorpion, you could use whatever colors you want. It is your drawing, have fun with it, and be proud of everything that you do. So if you want to make your scorpion blue because blue is your favorite color, fantastic. If you want to make your scorpion pink, that's great too. If you want to make your scorpion multicolor, make it a rainbow scorpion, whoa, that would be really awesome as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and have fun, enjoy ourselves as we color in our scorpion. Now I'm going to show you a few things on here. Uh, if you like any of it, definitely incorporate it into your own drawing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with some light tones first. So I'm going to go ahead and start with yellow being the lightest color that I have. Now I'm going to put in some light areas. Whenever I'm coloring things in, I like to work from light to dark. So if you want to follow along and, and go ahead and, and kind of color in your picture in this progress of going in from light to dark, see what I do and see if you like it and want to use some of this technique in your own drawing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take some yellow and I'm going to add in some light areas into my scorpion, just small little areas that are going to be light. And I'm going to use that yellow for the light tone. Okay, so I'm just adding in some yellow spots, okay, into my scorpion. And so this just adds a little more dimension to my drawing, right? It just, I just like having light areas and dark areas, right? It just makes my drawing look more interesting, okay? So I'm just adding in some light tones with my yellow, just like that, just little bits, right? I only colored in little areas, right? Just they're kind of like, like thin lines, aren't they? Okay, fantastic. All right, so I'm done with my yellow. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and move on to another color, maybe orange, right? Orange is darker than yellow, isn't it? And so I'm going to go ahead and get my orange and I'm going to go ahead and put in a few. These are going to be my mid-tone colors, okay? So I have some orange areas, okay? And so I'm going to paint color around the yellow. I don't want to color over the yellow. I don't want to block the yellow areas, right? But I'm just going ahead and adding in some mid-tone colors just like that going around my yellow area okay see that and so i'm just coloring in some zones okay some parts of my scorpion with what is going to be a mid-tone color okay this orange being darker than the yellow that i started with okay fantastic now i hope you guys are having fun coloring in your scorpion okay um whatever colors you chose for your scorpion i bet it is starting to look really really awesome as you're adding color to it it's really starting to brighten up and pop out right with some great bright colors just like that superb good job everyone way to go okay so i have some orange here you know what i think i want to add a few orange areas on this side right there Fantastic, okay, cool, so I'm just kind of tracing around those yellow areas, those light tones, right, with my mid-tone color of orange, 
Okay. So I'm starting to color in the tail. See that? Okay, and so you guys are all working at your own pace, right? We all have our own pace, and we're all just in different areas of our drawing now. Okay, nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in a little bit of this color even in the legs, I think. Just want a little bit in the legs. Okay, just nice thin lines like that. Look at that. Okay. All right. Hope you guys are having fun coloring in your scorpion. Is it looking awesome or is it looking creepy, creepy, crawly? That's right. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and put in some orange there. Fantastic. Okay. Ooh, I even forgot this area right there. All right. So, oh. Okay. Got that in. Superb. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and go in with some dark tone. Actually, I'm going to, this is going to be the color that I'll use for most of my scorpion. I'm going to choose brown. Okay, so I'm going with kind of a natural color for my scorpion with the color brown. Um, you guys obviously have chosen different colors. So whatever color you have chosen for your scorpion, fantastic. Keep on with it. I bet it's looking really great. Okay, so I'm going to use brown for most of my scorpion where I'm going to go in now use brown and just color in most areas just kind of coloring around my light tone and mid tone areas right so making sure I don't accidentally color over them okay all right and so this just goes in and fills in the rest just like that awesome blossom okay see that okay now moving on to this area here around just going nice and slowly taking my time no reason to rush okay and just putting it in all right there you go now we we'll move on to the body of the scorpion okay putting in some browns there fantastic all right and I'm just doing nice smooth right throats right I'm not scribbling it in I don't want to scribble all around right I'm just taking my time doing the best that I can nice and neatly and coloring in my scorpion okay all right going in here trying my best to go around those light tones and mid tones that I had right with the yellows and orange that's what I started with right Good job, everyone. Okay, how is your drawing coming along? How is the coloring process? Hope you're having a lot of fun doing this. Okay. All right. Okay, so got that done. Now go ahead into this area, this region here. All right, I'm just coloring that in. forget about the legs right sometimes I forget about these things right and I just go back and I'm like oh yeah that area I need to do that I forgot okay All right. let's do this leg just like that now let's do the other legs on the other side of the body right okay so see how I'm just using the tip or the point of my marker here right just doing thin lines for coloring right okay just using the point and just doing thin lines to color in those thin legs of my scorpion all right good job Woohoo! okay got those legs done right now let's do the tail i love the tail that's my favorite part of the scorpion okay so just doing the tail okay one area at a time okay I just I like to color in one area at a time so I just kind of go in and say okay this is the next one I'm going to do okay. Right. okay this one and the last one and then I'm 
Hope and the Stinger. Alright. Fantastic. Okay, now I have that done. This is looking so good so far, isn't it? Yeah, I'm loving it. Are you guys loving your drawing? I bet it's looking so cool. Now, from this point, if you want to, you can actually do a little bit of outlining. This is optional, right? If you have like a black marker or a black pen, if you want to outline something so that some areas come out looking more clearly, okay, you can take a black pen or a black marker and give your drawing an outline. So that's just tracing around the pencil lines. See that? And it just brings things back into view. Sometimes when we color things in, our color kind of colors over lines that we want to bring back into view. And so that's what the outlining does. Okay, so if you like outlining, okay, just uh, grab another marker. And it doesn't have to be black necessarily. An outline can be done in any color, actually. Um, I'm doing this outline in black because um, I chose brown for my scorpion and so um, I needed to use a color that is darker than brown for my outline okay but if you guys want to do your outline in a different color totally fine okay and so this, this outline here with black for my scorpion in my example right I'm just doing this line here see it just brings back the shape okay of my scorpion and those lines that I had in the body right I wasn't able to see those but now doing those black outlines again oh yeah there they are I see them again so I'm just tracing those lines just bringing those lines back in right because I wasn't able to see them earlier all right and then if you want same with the legs just those because our legs were divided into three sections right we had the top middle and bottom and so if you want to just bring those lines back in right the outlining really lets those shapes and forms come back into view really pops out and stands out right okay good job all right and some of you may like to do very thin outlines and i've chosen to do this with just a thin pen right and that's great too so we all like different styles some of you like thick bold outline some of you guys like real thin outline so whatever your style is your preference is okay hope you're having fun and enjoying doing the outlining process of your drawing all right let's go ahead and do this leg and one more leg right here okay and then this area of scorpion's body and I had these lines here. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring those lines back in just like that. All right, and now my favorite part, I love the scorpion's tail. And I'm just gonna take my time and finishing that off. All right, I definitely want this part to come out nicely. So just having patience, staying focused. All right, good job. And just going ahead and just doing those nice loops, right? It's nice circular oval shapes finishing off my drawing just like that cool beans all right and there you have it everyone check that out we just did a drawing of a scorpion and it looks so cool i love it and i hope you love your drawing too okay we started out with the pencil sketch right started out with that nice shape for the body then we went ahead and did those pincers, right? Brought out those pincers and those claws, right? Okay, then we moved on back towards the tail, right? Had those nice chain-like loops that went in, right? We did five of them, didn't we? One, two, three, four, five, right? Then we got that stinger in, and then we did eight legs, four on each side, those nice thin legs. Okay, and then we moved on into our coloring, 
right? I decided to show you how to color using markers, using light tones, mid tones, and dark tones, right? Some of you guys decide to color in with other materials, which is fantastic, all right? And you guys all had such a great time coloring in your scorpion, making it look so cool. And then some of you followed along and did the outlining to make things really pop out and stand out. Fantastic. Good job, everyone. Hope you had a lot of fun and see you next time. Bye. Thank you.